Hey everyone, I'm Amanda, and today we're going to go over how to round decimals. So first here I just have some tips for rounding. Um, what you want to do first is find the digit in the place that you are rounding to. So when you get um, a question, just first look at the place that you're supposed to round to. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the digit one place to the right, because according to that digit, um, that's how you're going to end up rounding. And then the third thing, if that digit, the one that's one place to the right, is less than five, you're going to round down. And if it's greater than five, you're going to round up. So I have some practice problems. So we're just going to go through them. So what is 2.479 rounded to the nearest hundredth? So we want to round it to the nearest hundredth, which is this place right here, the seven. So what we're going to do is going to, we're going to look one place to the right, which is this nine. And since nine is greater than five, we're going to round up. So the answer to that would be 2.48. We rounded that seven up because the number one place to the right of it was greater than five. Let's look at this one. What is 7.91 rounded to the nearest 10th? So the 10th place is right here with a nine. We look one place to the right, which is the one. One is less than five. So we're gonna round down. So that means that we just keep it at 7.9. What is 3.636 rounded to the nearest 10th? Again, the 10th place is right here, which is a six. We're gonna look one place to the right at three. Three is less than five. So we're gonna round down. So the answer to this would be 3.6. What is 3.88 rounded to the nearest whole number? So the place that we're rounding is this three, this is the whole number. So we look one place to the right, and it's an eight. Eight is greater than five. So we know we're rounding up. So 3.88 rounded up to the nearest whole number would just be four. So basically you're just gonna keep repeating these three same, three same steps over and over. Um, and you'll see it gets a lot easier along the way. So what is 3.4 rounded to the nearest whole number? Again, we're rounding this place according to this number. So four is less than five, so we round down. So 3.4 rounded to the nearest whole number is just three. What is 7.134 rounded to the nearest whole number? Again, this is the place we're rounding. We look at one place to the right, which is one, one is less than five, so we round down. So 7.134 rounded to the nearest whole number is just seven. What is 6.44 rounded to the nearest tenth? So this is the tenths place right here. We look at one place to the right. Four is less than five, so we round down. So 6.44 rounded to the nearest tenth is just going to be 6.4. What is 1.9 rounded to the nearest whole number? This is the place that we're rounding. This is one place to the right. Nine is greater than five, so we're going to round up. So 1.9 rounded to the nearest whole number is just two. And these are the last two problems. So we have, what is 2.578 rounded to the nearest hundredth? So 10th hundredth, this is the hundredth place. We're gonna round according to that number, which is one place to the right. Eight is greater than five. So we're gonna round up. So 2.578 rounded to the nearest hundredth 
is, is 2.58. Because we rounded that seven up to eight because the number right next to it was greater than five. And last one right here, what is 5.03 rounded to the nearest tenth? The zero is the tenths place. We look at the three to the right. Three is less than five. So we're going to round down. So 5.03 rounded to the nearest tenth is just going to be 5.0. So I hope that was helpful with rounding decimals. Thank you for watching.